So in the last video, we have seen how to do this stuff with the help of Runnable, right? But if you look at this code, the number of lines we are using here is approximately 40 lines, right? So what is my intention here is just to reduce the number of lines which we are using. So first of all, we have to reduce the number of lines. Second, we have to make the code more efficient uh, using less number of classes. I mean, less number of classes overall. So if you look at this class here, which is high, I mean, the only purpose of this class high is to implement Runnable, right? And we are using that class only once. So whenever you have a class which, which will be used only once, then why to create a separate class for that? I mean, this is a class which will be, which will be used only once and the purpose of this class is only to implement Runnable. As we have seen in the topic of anonymous class, I hope you remember, if you, if you don't just go back to the concept of anonymous class or anonymous class with interface, you can create the object of interface directly with the anonymous class here. So can you see that we get runnable obj1 equal to new runnable and here itself we can provide the implementation of it. So the logic which you are writing here, we just cut this part and we'll paste it here. That means I don't need this class now. I don't need obj, we, we don't need high, high class there because we can create an anonymous class, right? Now the same thing can be done for Hello. So instead of instead of creating the hello class, we can cut this part and we can paste it here. So we can say new runnable and we can replace that code here. So we will say control. Okay. Let me just do some formatting here. Okay. That's that looks better. That that's better. Let me remove this extra spaces here. Okay, and so once we once we have removed this both the classes, so you can see we don't have high and hello class now, and the number of lines has reduced to we, we have reduced three lines of code, and that's awesome. And so by by doing this, we are removing a, removing a class, so we are using an anonymous class. Now we have also seen something, right? If you if you click on Runnable, Runnable is a functional interface, which means we can use lambda expression here. Now, how can you use lambda expression is uh, when you have a lambda expression, you don't have to mention this stuff here from here to here. That is something which we can imagine. And since we are removing this one curly bracket, we'll be also removing this curly bracket. So let's remove this. Let's remove this and let's remove the whole box. And we just have to use an arrow represent that same thing can be done here we can remove this stuff we can remove this curly brackets and we can use lambda expression okay and it is done if you run this code now it is still working right so we have removed some some number of lines there and you can see the code it is only 33 lines now we have removed seven lines of code what else we can remove now if you observe this obj1 and obj2 we are using those object only once right so what you can do, you can just copy this code because we are using anyway, we are using that only once. We can cut this part and we can paste it in obj1 itself. The same thing can be done for this one. So we can cut this part and we can paste it in obj2. So we don't require obj1, obj2 now. So we can remove both this. So we got these two threads. So we, one thread is printing this stuff, second, print, second thread is printing this stuff and they are showing the threads. And if you run this code now, we got the same output and see the number of lines we are using only one uh, we are using only 28 lines first of all we have reduced the number of lines second we are using anonymous class we are using lambda expression so we are making this code more and more efficient so t1 is doing this t2 is doing this and they are calling t1 dot start and t2 dot start so that's how we can use lambda expression with uh, threads so that's it